Good morning, everyone. My name is Yong Jing Xian. I'm from Max Planck Institute Informatics in Germany. Today, I'm here to present our work on latent embeddings for zero shot classification. This is a joint work with my following collaborators. In this work, we are interested in embedding methods for zero shot classification, which learn a compatibility function between image and class embedding spaces. Structure joint embedding model proposes to learn a single embedding matrices and, matrix and form a bilinear competitive function F, where X denotes the image embedding, Y denotes the class embedding, W is the embedding matrix to learn. This, this compatibility function measures similarity between any image and class embedding pairs. Ideally, the embedding matrix should project each embedding, uh, each image instance, instances to, the, to be as close as to the ground truth class embedding. However, a single embedding matrix is not able, might not be uh, discriminative enough to do that since because of the limitation of the uh, linear model. For instance, in this case, the apertures, uh, the instances of apertures are not correctly projected. Therefore, in this work, we propose the latent embedding model, which learns a piecewise linear compatibility function. It learns a collection of matrices with the selection of which one to use as a latent variable. Intuitively, intuitively each embedding matrix in our model is corresponded is response to is response is responsible to uh, the object classes with similar visual characteristics and factorizes the complicated classification problem into easier ones. For example, in this case, both Sparrow and Wobbler select W1 as the embedding matrix because they are both forest and small birds, while the waterbird apertro select W2, and all the image instances are correctly projected. We, we empirically embedded our model on three public datasets with four different class embeddings. And this bar, bar plot clearly shows that our model outperforms the state of art in 10 out of 11 cases. We also got some very interesting qualitative results. In this figure, each row corresponds to the top ranked images by each embedding matrix in our model. The, the qualitative results clearly demonstrate that each embedding matrix, different embedding matrices in our model indeed, indeed corresponds to uh, different clusters of birds with similar visual properties. For example, W1 is corresponds to all the birds with long and pointy beak. W2 is, to, uh, is responsible for all the birds uh, with yellow color and live in the forest. <laughs>